So Saturday morning, we're a little shortly after six here. So this week is all gonna be about, I'm gonna peel back the curtain a little bit on Renegade Bass Tour and, and show you how it operates, how uh, from start to finish. So we're just, the guys are loading in here now. So I'll just show you the process for, uh, for people who don't really know how Renegade operates. Um, I think this is their 26th season, so they pretty well got it down pat. Uh, so yeah, I'll walk you through morning blast off and then uh, right up through the day when we're out filming the show, I'll show you a little bit of how we shoot the show and then uh, we'll go through the weigh-in process and then the releasing the fish. So quite a process, but the guys, like I said, the short staff, they're really good guys and they got it all figured out. So let's get it going. I got to get uh, meet up with JP and uh, they start filming the show. Hope you like it. So just launching here, like I said, they do a boat check of every boat uh, for safety gear, live wells are working, kill switch. Uh, so the shore stops here at like 5 a.m. and they get every boat, and they check off every boat as they go in with, uh, with all their safety gear, life jackets and all that stuff to make sure they're all ready and safe for the day. And they get 83 boats loaded here, 82 boats this year loaded in uh, generally under an hour. And then uh, we'll rip over the marina for blast off. There's trouble if I ever seen them. I haven't had my morning drink yet. No morning drink yet? There's Jesse doing his morning interview with Dougie. Dougie's probably spinning some tails, I'm sure, as usual. Tales of wool. Yeah. Tales of wool. <laughs> She's a little rough in that current. Yeah, why aren't they running this side of it? I don't know why they're not running this side of it. Not a bad start. So basically how we shoot the show is JP and I will kind of run around and find guys and and who we pick is kind of random, but kind of not random. Um, obviously for the TV show, you know, we're looking for guys that are good on camera and obviously we'd hope they're going to catch some fish more, but not always. You just got to be good on camera and, and want to talk to the camera and, and do a good job that way. But um, so we just randomly drive around. We have two camera guys that leave in the morning, Jesse and Greg, in boats and they'll spend half a day with those guys and then we go and pick them up later and flop them into another boat and then JP runs with me and we uh, we run around and drop JP in a boat we try to do six a day with um, an hour each team so we hang with them for about an hour and uh, JP will be in the boat with them for about probably 45 minutes of that and uh and then we we go and find another team so that's how we get the footage and also the guys actually provide gopro footage and jp actually puts gopros in some guys boats that don't have um that don't have gopros but he'll supply them and uh, and just grab them at the end of the day and get them back and, and go from there but that's kind of how we do the show and then for my part of it i just at the end of it, we kind of do intros for each boat, and then I talk about, you know, how the fishing is, and do some midday reports, and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of my gig, and then uh, that's it. So do the morning blast off with the guys, and then uh, I go out and talk about what guys are doing, and uh, yeah, and then uh, JP turns it into a show. So we'll get into that a little bit later how he does that, but pretty cool deal. And it is going to be a scorcher today. Sam and Lindsay, JP in the boat, and a toad.
There you go, boys. As you saw, Patrick and Marty hooked a good one here, and uh, the good side to that is you get a cameraman in your boat for a little bit to talk about it. So JP's hawked in with him, and uh, Jesse's just up the river a little bit, so we're kind of hopscotching from boat to boat with the cameraman, and getting lots of fish catches today, and some nice ones, so it's going to be uh, lots to pick through for sure for the show, but the guys are doing pretty good today. And what were you doing, JP, when he set the hook? Filming his motor number. <laughs> Doesn't always work out, eh, bud? <laughs> Whoopsie. That is not your call. You got black down on it, aren't you? Black black. That's gotta be a good fish. Hey Jess, you're going in. The best crew in the business right here, boys. There they are. It's uh, 3.15, we're heading in, we're just getting set up for the weigh-in and uh, see who wins this thing. I don't know, 22, no 23? Uh, <laughs> we're not paid to guess. Top 40, 17-2. 17-2, I'll go winner, 23 and a half. Wow, I'll take the under. <laughs> Taking the under. <laughs> Smart guy. All right, a quarter to four and guys should start rolling in. Any minute here. So we're just here at weigh-in and I'm going to show you kind of how they operate. So holding tank here for guys that are showing up before they get their fish checked. Fish checker checks the fish here. Then they get put in these baskets from the baskets into these tanks and we never have more than eight baskets at a time in these tanks. So there's never more than eight baskets of fish at a time, keep them in the aerated live wells rather than up here, but these tanks are all chilled and aerators in each one and pumps in each one, fresh oxygenated water. From there they go up to the stage in water, which they're preparing that tank right now, and then wade in water on the stage. So very little out of water time throughout the whole process, which is obviously important for fish. So here on the live release boat, the guys are checking the fish as they come in. Uh, you can see the temperature gauges on the left there. They're monitoring temperature, adding ice, and checking the salt oxygen every 15 minutes on the tank. If there is any that need to be fished again, uh, the guys will deal with them right here. And the That's it. Was that the giant? No. No? Uh oh. Uh -oh. 
Fish are lively. One big one. Go ahead, reach in there for the not bad so that's a wrap on this vlog hope you like getting a look behind the scenes of renegade bass tour and how we put together the tv show as well as renegade as a whole congrats again to jean martin and pat milo for an awesome bag of fish Pretty close, Charles. Real close. But second is not first. Maybe next time, buddy. <laughs>